and you and I could sit down for half an hour now and we'd write a song, but it'd be shit. I mean, we could, uh, I could, we could make it sound like it's a contemporary record, but it's about nothing. So the songs have to be about something, they have to be true. When you're young uh, and you encounter the world for the first time, you know, you're not in school, you're not in the family, suddenly you're in the world. And um, it's not a very welcoming place. Then all your ideas about the world, all your demands for a future, all your frustration comes out. And that's, that's why young bands are so dynamic, because they come with a new voice and a new way of looking at things, which is, um, very contemporary. Come on, get up, get dressed, another perfect day of spring is here. As you grow older, uh, then you've already made that world that you've complained about. So that so the function of songwriting becomes different. Um, you need to write about other things that are important to you, like the internal world. This record, How to Compose Popular Songs, was, um, is the bookend of the previous record, Sex, Age and Death. And Sex, Age and Death happened because uh, my wife left me and I was in love with her and it almost destroyed me. And back down here the lovers gazed and found they couldn't even speak. Sex, Age and Death, one end of the emotional spectrum, how to compose the other. And, uh, and that's why I say songs now are more like self-addressed postcards from my psyche. And they need to be said and I can't choose when, and I'm not frustrated by that. They just come, and usually they come in a great catharsis, and you record them, and I've finished 27 songs, and I brought it down to 10 that are of the essence of now, and uh, there's a record. <laughs> <laughs> 